Happy holidays everyone. We're demonstrating how to create amazing looking vector style Christmas ornaments that you can hang anywhere. And these graphics that you see on your screen right now are the exact finished product of what you'll be learning how to create. This is the exact ornament that I finished up with. So I hope you enjoy and I hope you guys have a very merry holiday and I might do some more Christmassy type theme uh, tutorials before Christmas comes. Who knows? Maybe. Alright, let's create a new fireworks document. And I'm going to make mine about, I don't know, maybe 800 wide and 500 high. And you can make yours any size and resolution you need. You can work at any size and resolution you want. And I'm going to set my canvas to a very dark red. So I'll click this red here, and I'll just bring down this slider right about there. Now the first thing we're going to do is drag out. If you have the rectangle selected there, you just hold that down and you'll see you can drag out a donut. We're going to create the little loop that the ornament would dangle from, where it would hang from. So we can just hold shift and draw out a perfectly round uh, donut. And then we can bring that in a little bit. Actually, let's go ahead and resize this. Make mine as small as it needs to be. Right about right there. I'm going to zoom in on it. And I can grab this little inner radius dialer right there and move it out to get the exact size I need and to control you press control and mouse wheel to zoom in and out in your scene okay or into your canvas so there's your little loop and you can go ahead and add a bevel effect or a bevel filter to that inner bevel and that gives it a more realistic 3d look with shines coming from this direction and shadows on the other side now we'll go ahead and click the rectangle tool and draw out a rectangle. Now this little guy here is going to be, let's give that a gradient fill of satin. That'll give me the look I want. Now I'll click down on the satin here and where it's white, I'm going to change that to a very dark gold color or yellow. Right about there. That might even be a little bit too much right there is good and now I'm going to zoom in on that object by holding control and mouse wheeling and I can manipulate that and I just want one of those little arcs in there like that I'm gonna highlight it select filters here and I'm gonna give it a let's see inner shadow and I want the inner shadow to be white and I want it to come from the top I'm gonna make sure it's 270 here coming from the direct top and bring this down to about 2 for the softness on it and bring this down to 2 as well now I'm gonna drag out an ellipse I'm gonna hold shift down to make sure it stays even and that 300 by 300 looks good to me right there I'm gonna make sure it's centered bring it up a little bit to right about there and I'm gonna go and change the fill the gradient to a radial I'm gonna change the colors on that to the bright red here and then a very dark red here. Oh, I'm sorry. Switch those. Dark red on the other side. There we go. Now let's take this in the center and move that. And we're going to make the dark red a little bit lighter because we want it to be a little bit lighter than the background. That looks good to me. And you can position this anywhere you need to. Now we're going to give that an inner glow just for a little lighting effect on the other side inner glow of the bright red and we're gonna soften it up a little bit more bring this in to about six and then bring the opacity way down maybe even less right there looks good to me even a little less for a very very subtle effect and if you want to put really glossy shines on there you can just draw in some white shapes that would be a glossy type effect on there but I don't want mine too glossy I want mine to be kind of like a matte finish and then I'm gonna put like gold fleck type designs on it Christmassy designs now here is where you can get really creative and what I'm gonna do is drag out the text tool and I'm just gonna type in Q W E R T Y U I O P the whole top line and you can see that I'm using a dingbat font let me go ahead and shrink that down so you can see all of them it's a dingbat font and I want to get to the uppercase and this is really handy to use dingbat fonts you have to you need a quick little 
dingbat to supplement for something you don't want to really draw it out from scratch this is a good thing to do so you can uh, use fonts and I'm gonna show you how to change the font to actual paths and graphics that you can work with okay so let's press uh, caps lock and I'm using car Xmas dingbats if you want to get the same font that I'm using car Xmas dingbats and now I'm gonna type in Q W E R T Y I'm looking for that horse that's what I wanted it's the Y caps lock Y for that little horse right there I'm gonna bring the size of the horse up and I'm gonna make sure it's yellow or gold to match that gold up top really you can make it any colors you want for any color scheme that you're going for now 96 isn't big enough so I'm gonna go about 240 see what that does that's really good I like that maybe not so big maybe 220 there we go so let's change that text character now to a path graphic that we can work with that'll be a native graphics and fireworks that we can do anything we want with so I'm gonna go to text with it selected I'm gonna go to text convert to paths and then you'll see it gives me a group of the paths so I'm just gonna press control shift G to ungroup it and there's my native path and you can see if you wanted to you can go in here and grab each point and move it around like, like so see now I have an antelope you know I'm just showing you that you can really work with it now and, and make it your own if you wanted to use dingbats fonts for specialized graphics and illustrations okay so now what I'm gonna do is make that a little bit less wide because it's going to appear like it's plastered onto a round surface so I don't want it to be a normal view I just want it to be a little less wide than normal so let's place it right there I'm gonna press control C control V I'm gonna place another right here okay now let's go ahead and draw out a donut because we're gonna use the donut now to punch out those paths that are the horses so I'm gonna hold shift as I draw this donut so it punches them out correctly get it in the center again move the inner radius to where it wraps right around that uh, inner sphere there now with that selected I'm gonna change that to maybe uh, green or whatever I'm gonna press control C control V so now I have two of those I just made a copy but don't move it what you're gonna do is select the first horse and the first donut the one on top and then go to modify combine paths and punch then you're gonna select this horse and this donut modify combine paths and punch so that effectively wraps that around for you and then you can grab both of those together go down to grain or texture rather and make sure you choose grain or whatever one you want but I'm gonna make like a gold fleck looking effect so I'm gonna bring it down to about 37 30 whatever in the 30s select transparent and let's go ahead and mess with this number and see how we can make it look best here I like it right at about 30 so that makes it look like my my little horsies on there have it like a gold fleck pasted on glued on gold fleck kind of look to it okay let's go to our shape and grab a star drag out the star while holding shift to keep everything even and I'm going to make the points on this one only four points I'm gonna drag in the radius and if you have to zoom in go ahead and zoom in by holding control and mouse wheeling I'm gonna get it to about that look right there and on the solid fill I'm gonna change that to a gradient of radial and in the center it's white and the outer edge I'm gonna make it white and that one I'm going to bring the opacity down I'm gonna make sure this has no grain on it no texture okay so you see what you got there now highlight that press control C control V you can select the scale tool that way you'll have access to rotate the object so let's rotate this one 45 degrees like that and then we can highlight that with the pointer tool and we'll have the radius options again bring that down a little bit and there you go it's a nice Christmassy shine star effect and we'll add one last little thing to it let's add an ellipse to the top right about like that and this one we're going to make a solid white position in the center of that star the best we can right about there it's good enough and then we'll go to filters blur Gaussian blur 
however you pronounce that, I don't know, I don't care. Okay, so then you'll be left with something a little like that. And then what I'm going to do is highlight those items all together. And I can drag them around wherever I need to. Put that one over there, press Control C, Control V to make a copy of that. And then go to Modify, Flatten that selection. And I'm going to leave that one there in case I want to change it up. And this one I'm going to blur just a little bit. Watch. Go to Gaussian Blur, and you don't want to have it so blurred. Just a touch. Just to take those hard edges off right there. Then I'm going to take that and position it right there. I'm going to bring down the size of it. Scale it down a little bit. Okay, now you can just take little gold balls and make a chain. So you can highlight all of those items. Let's drag this down a little bit. Right about there. And I'm going to draw out little ellipse. Make it solid gold. Solid gold. And then give it a uh, bevel, inner bevel of smooth. Bring it all the way up. Bring that all the way up. Bring that all the way up. And that'll give you a nice beveled looking little bead. Then you can just put that there and make others. Make a whole bunch. Stack them right on top of each other like that. Then you can grab a bunch as you go. However many you need to make your chain. As long as you need it to be. Just get rid of that last one on top. And let's grab this thing. Control C, Control V. Make it smaller. Bring it to front. Scale it. And there you go. We'll put this somewhere over here. Okay. And you can even take another little one. See, since this is gold fleck. And you can make some little tiny shines on the gold fleck if you want. Alright, so there you have it. Beautiful vector Christmas ornaments that you can customize.